Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> What up, Loki crew? I am Saran, random YouTuber you may know nothing about, yet we are here today. I like to collect random 2000s and late 90s collectibles from all kind of random teens. So if that sounds good to you, definitely like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, but no pressure here. Of course, as you know by now, I added an extra little segment to my videos called High Key Highlight, which I actually choose one of you all that's a collector that collects anything, and I'll showcase you at the end of my video. It's a one minute video. So stay tuned at the end of this video to check that out. But, so y'all, you know what? This toy today, this one's for you, Taylor. I know you've been waiting for it. I know you've been waiting for it. I couldn't wait to do this either but I just had to have the time to do it. Now that I have the time to shoot this video, let's talk about it. Y'all, today's video is about this toy. My homie Taylor and I was talking one day and I was like, yo, I hit her up, I was like, hey, do you remember this toy that you had to scan different barcodes to unlock different monsters? Does that sound familiar to you? So we looked it up and we figured it out. Today, we are gonna unbox scanners the classic scanners toy that some of you might remember, some of you might not. Scanners from a distant galaxy have landed on Earth and are hiding in real barcodes on real products everywhere. Scanners time. Let's go get them. You can only capture them with scanners. Scanners let you scan any barcode on real products and capture the monsters. Then battle them on your own or play head to head to win. They're hiding in millions of barcodes everywhere. You can scan them, capture them, fight them with scanners. The more you scan, the more you fight, the more powerful you become. Scanners, scan them, capture them, fight them. Cards and comic book included. My brother had one of these and honestly, I thought it was the coolest thing going to the grocery store to scan little barcodes and get little monsters and stuff. But yeah, hopefully I can unlock some memories with you guys today during this video. Now, of course I have to tell you the history behind this toy. Let's get into it. This toy was actually released by Radica Game in 2000. The original three tribes of the scanners toys was the blue, the red, and the green tribes. I would say the name of each tribe, but I ain't finna fuck that up. I ain't finna make myself look like an ass on this camera. Y'all can look it up yourself, but just know it's red, blue, and green. Now later on down the line, they did release different versions of this toy, which is the Scanners Commander, Scanners Racers, and Scanners Orbs. There are a total of 126 monsters to collect. Through all these barcodes in the world, I'm sure you can find them all. But also what I wanted to say, we're gonna switch up the video just just a little bit today and kind of give like a little vlog tip. Instead of going around my house and scanning the barcodes, I decided I'm gonna take this to the store, the old school way, and scan some barcodes and find at least five monsters for you guys. And we're gonna get that on camera after the unboxing. But now that I got you up on the history, let's go ahead and unbox these things and see what they look like. Y'all. Big announcement okay so back in 2018 i had my own booth at the flea market called retro region so i decided to bring it back on the whatnot app guys meet me this friday on the whatnot app at my store retro region that is retro underscore region on top of that you guys get 15 dollars off your first purchase if you click that link down below in the description box i care about y'all so much i'll give you a little sneak peek of what's going on all right, all right look, look, that's it. Again, you can find me on the WhatNot app at retro underscore region. I'll see you guys then. All right, now that we got the scanners, let's go ahead and open these up. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay, so, oh man, yo. So this is a lot bigger than what I remember it being. Like I could have sworn like, it was some small, tiny, itty bitty ass little game thing, but no, this is fairly big. Like, I feel like I'm finna catch some Digimon with this shit, you know what I'm saying? This is the one we're actually gonna use to go to the store and scan some barcodes with, but I do have to have the mid condition one. It's the collector in me, I'm that type of collector. I have to have the one that's mid condition. So, we're gonna go ahead and unbox that one right now. Oh, okay, cool. Unfortunately, the 
it did add this on here lightly. So that was very nice with the seller. Any problems, just message me and let me know. Thanks. I'm glad they lightly put this sticker on here. We have scanners. Mint condition in the package. Yo, these are going crazy on the internet. The prices for these things is nuts. Hella nuts, but oh man. So in comparison, you know, I'm 5'6". I don't know if that makes a difference, but you see how big this is on my hand, in my hand, right? Full grown adult. So in comparison, they're about the same size. This one's a little bigger than this red one, but yo. And also the original um, scanners came with the comics in the toys. So you can see the comic first edition right there. Wow. Scan any barcodes, capture monsters, win the fight. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm, I'm low key geeking on this. Like this looks sick, I'm excited. This being a lot bigger than what I thought, it makes me even more excited. Guys, let's go ahead and head off to the grocery store. Let's scan some barcodes with this right here. Let's go. Okay, so right now we have the batteries in here. I gotta put the back on, but it's not working. Are you sure it's not working? Yeah, I think. I think I put the batteries in wrong. Hold on. Oh, we got it working. Hold on, how do I put my name in? Okay, look, I'm just gonna press reset down here. It's kind of hard since I'm holding the camera and I'm also trying to figure this out. So give me a second. Okay, so I figured out how to put my name in. Mm. This shouldn't be too hard to get to. All right. All right, y'all, so we are at Target right now. Another day, I had to, you know, film this in another day, but we have the scanners. And uh, yeah, let's go in and try not to look too damn goofy in Target, but we're here at Target. We're gonna scan, try to find some monsters. Let's go. on this thing is kind of hard but we're gonna try if not i'm just gonna spend all night trying to find some damn monsters at my house so oh. damn it nope wouldn't it damn it try to collect the blues Jimmy Gordon. Damn it. Dead. John Cena in the Rock. Uncle Pop. Damn it. Dead. Star Wars. Damn it. I don't know if you can take it. We missed it, dude. Scan I... monster. Wait, what, bro? What? Wait, is that what you saying? <laughs> what? Wait, let's try this one. But I just, what does that even mean? Nope. Okay. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. This is kind of tough. Like, everywhere we go is, like, dead. So watch. Dead. I'm trying. I'm really trying. Mm, Tarjay. Nope. Damn, we missed that one. Ah! I know. I don't know what happened. That was a good one. Dead. I'm gonna try to do this in the grocery store aisle. We'll scan a couple things, but if not, I don't know, man. I'm dead. Damn it. 
All right, so you see how Trix brought back the six fruity shapes. Hopefully this nostalgic look will give us a little bit of luck, so. Yeah. Pop-Tarts was the best ones, the strawberry, get that. Best Pop-Tarts, hands down. Yeah, it is. Well, my ain't living in it. <laughs> I hate the brown cinnamon sugar thing, but we'll try it. Wait, 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 wait. What does that mean? Did you get a monster? Did, wait, did I not get it, bro? Fuck, am I supposed to hit A or something? Damn it. Oh. Yellow pin. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, what the fuck just happened? I think you're supposed to press the freaking. Damn it! <laughs> May my ancestors bless this onion powder. <laughs> Come on. Damn it! Let's try the tacos. Damn it! If you look over here, we have the holy mango camel soup. They can't do us wrong. Well, let me get this one. Come on, tomato. Damn it. What's this? Chicken noodle. Ah. Throwback. Damn it. A real one. Damn it. Okay, we're gonna try one, well no, three more times. If not, I'm just gonna have to insert a video of a monster being found. So. Turn your ass back on. Two. <laughs> okay, y'all. We didn't get any monsters, so I'm gonna have to just insert someone else. <laughs> She's so tiny. Look how short she is. Oh. Now we're just gonna have to insert another clip of somebody else finding the damn monsters because they made this game so damn hard and i kind of fumbled the bag on two of them because i really don't know how to use this thing it's like a i bought it used okay so i don't really know the instruction on how to use it i probably could have captured two but i didn't so there's that did i just get a monster dude oh ah it looks like I have a samuroid monster now. Yeah, level one monster. Ah! But you know what? I, I, I scanned the damn Powerpuff Girl trading cards and I found a monster in my room. Hey! Man. Oh, well, I think. Wait, how did I get it? Fuck! Yo, what the entire, how do, mm. it looks like I dropped the ball on even getting two monsters at least because like I said, I don't have instructions for this and I just kind of freestyled it. Mm. Um, my final thoughts on this toy, I think it actually looks pretty dope. I'm excited to have it in my collection. And if you don't know by now, this is the original Scanners toy and this is the Scanners Commander that came out a little bit later than this one, but this is the original first one. This is, this is that never give up ass toy. But yeah, I think it looks cool. The packaging, of course, and you got the uh, Scanners comic book on the back. I personally think this is a cool ass toy. Um, I'm glad I got it in my collection. Guys, definitely let me know what you think about this toy. Up next we have my high key highlight, which is a one minute video to my fellow collectors that give them a chance to showcase 
and show off their collection as well. I just want to show some love. So let's go ahead and roll the high key highlight of today's video. Brie, before I show off the collection, I just have to give you a huge, huge shout out for giving me some shine and allow me to uh, show off my collection. Uh, one of my biggest goals is to get more black people into the collectible space. And I think I have the gems that should do the trick. I start off with this. This is the Obama first print Spider-Man comic. I got it in the CGC 9.8. So pretty much it's as, uh, as close as you can get to make condition. This is the first print. Uh, Obama wasn't even the president at the time. He was the president elect. True gem. My recent pickup is the uh, Meteor Man comic books. It was a huge movie back in the days. Robert Townsend was way ahead of his time when he created this movie. He wanted to have the first, I guess, commercialized black superhero. And you can see the... Uh, Meteor Man action figure, real fine, true gem. We all remember Kanye West, Taylor Swift. <laughs> I have this card, Tops. It's a very popular card. Um, real card to find out in the street, but if you go on eBay, you can find it. Again, pure gem, and I think this will get uh, more black people to, into the collectible space. Really good card. When it comes to sports, this is a Colin Kaepernick black rookie refractor card. Now this is significant because in a sports card hobby, we love color parallels. Colin Kaepernick will always be aligned with the Black Lives Matter movement. So a black rookie refractor card just makes it way more significant. Something that I can hold 10, 20, 30 years for the grandkids. True gem. Now check this out. I have an Oprah Winfrey Topps rookie card, 9.5 SGC. So this is a very high grade in this Oprah Winfrey. She's the queen of the media. Um, can't beat this, had to have this in the collection. The Bernie Sanders meme, I got it in the PSA 10. So this is, this is Gem Mint 10, rare gem. Um, highly collectible and it's affordable. Amanda Gorman, PSA 10. Who knows, she might be the next Maya Angelou. And I thought this was cool because you never know, Kamala, there's always a chance Kamala Harris could be the first president of the United States. And these are her, 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 pretty much her rookie cards. And uh, had to have this in the collection. So just wanted to show more culturally relevant uh, collectibles that I have and I hopefully it, it, it will inspire more people uh, to get into, into the collectible space. Thanks again for showing me love, Brie. You guys can can follow me, these vintage one to eight on Instagram. Thanks again, Brie. Okay, guys, thank you so much again for sticking around this song in the video. Of course, and as always, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next video. Oh. Peace. Best Pop Tarts, hands down. Well, my sweet living in it. Damn it. <laughs>